Your GP has referred you because you had some abnormal bleeding. We use an ultrasound to actually find out what's happening. The recommended way is an internal scan, which a probe goes through the vagina, and most women can tolerate it. It could be a slightly uncomfortable, but it gives us more information. It helps us to know about the lining of the womb and whether there is any abnormality within the lining of the womb. Once you've had your ultrasound, you will be seen in the consenting clinic where your gynecologist will be asking questions to know about your background medical history, surgical history, and also to establish some risk factors for things like cancer, because that gives your gynecologist more information to decide about the management. And after that, if needed, you may be offered a hysteroscopy. The hysteroscopy procedure would involve putting a camera, which is like a small tube, from down below into the womb to have a look inside the womb and to rule out any abnormality because of which you are having abnormal bleeding. We are then going to take a biopsy of the lining of the womb. I was bleeding after the menopause, so I went to my GP who referred me just to make sure that everything was as it should be. I had an ultrasound and they said they wanted to do a hysteroscopy. I was a little anxious because Obviously, I'd never had this type of procedure before. The staff were very helpful and very kind. They've got your interests at heart. I took some paracetamol before I came in, and the procedure itself was a little uncomfortable, but no more than that. Most of the time, we perform this procedure in the outpatient setting, and the benefit is it saves you from general anaesthetic. Most women can tolerate the procedure, having taken usually paracetamol and ibuprofen about an hour before the procedure. You don't need to fast for the procedure, especially if you are doing it in outpatient setting because you will be awake. You can bring a friend or your relative to support you during the procedure. You're welcome to do that, but we will also offer you a chaperone during the procedure. When you're going to attend for your hysteroscopy procedure, you will be seen by the person who is going to do the hysteroscopy. They will go over your history, the consent form that you have already signed, and confirm whether you understand the procedure. The most important thing that you need to remember is uh, the day of your last menstrual period. And if you are not on any contraception, we may ask you to give us a urine sample so we can do a pregnancy test to rule it out. My role is to assist the consultant or the doctor who's doing the procedure, to help them set up equipment and also to help with the patient. We show them how to change into the appropriate attire for the procedure and then we bring them into the room. So when we bring them into the room, we introduce ourselves and then we position them into the lithotomy position and then check their names, check their details. One of our biggest roles is just to um, relax the patient with just um, conversations about Christmas, holidays, just to relax them so they can have an easier time with the procedure. That's the camera that I was talking about. You can see it's like a small tube. You will be in control throughout the procedure. So if you feel at any stage that the procedure is getting too uncomfortable for you, we can book you for the same procedure to be done under general anesthetic on a different day. Water on, please. Your womb is normally collapsed, and in order to open it up to have a good view, so we need water to open up the womb. It goes through the telescope, and when that is happening, you will be feeling wet down below. Don't feel scared, that's our water, not yours. Do you want to look on the screen? Once we are into the cavity of the womb, you will see two dots around 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock position. They are basically the opening of the tubes. And then we have a global view of the cavity of the womb, and we see if there is any abnormality over there. Sometimes we find a skin tag sort of thing inside the womb because of the thickened lining of the womb. We call it a polyp. If we find something and we are able to deal with it there and then and remove it, we will be able to do that. Once we have performed the hysteroscopy procedure, then we are going to take a biopsy of the lining of the womb. You will feel a little bit of discomfort because of the scratching against the walls of the womb. The actual procedure takes about 15 minutes. Sometimes in order to get a good view of the cavity of the womb, which is affected by various factors like presence of blood or mucus, we have to stay inside the womb with the camera for a little long. Most ladies are up and ready to go straight away after the procedure. But then obviously you always get the few ladies that do need to recover, that do need a couple more minutes. And we all have a recovery room nearby. We, we can just take them in there and let them rest up until they're ready to go home. 
I didn't have any pain. They did give me a pad. Um, there was um, some, a little bit of leakage, but nothing significant. Once you've had your hysteroscopy, you should be able to go back to your normal work. Some people may want to rest just for the day. If you don't feel well or you feel feverish or any smelly discharge down below, do come back to the hospital and your gynecologist will assess you um, to rule out infection. It takes usually about a week to 10 days to get the report back and then uh, we will inform you about the report and if needed we'll arrange an appointment to be seen in gynae clinic afterwards. I had the results and luckily they were clear. Now I'm fine again and no more bleeding which is obviously a good thing.